Students, this is NCRT exercise problem 2.17 from page number 70 of structure of atom, right? So let's read the statement. Calculate the wave number for the longest wavelength transition in the Balmer series of atomic hydrogen. There is an hydrogen atom, right? And you have to find the longest wavelength in Balmer series, right? So Balmer series start from N1 equal to 2. That means second orbit and it will goes to 3 four, five, and so on. You can take this uh, electron to the infinity, right? So you have to find the longest wavelength transition, right? So as we know that nu bar, that means wave number is inversely proportional to the wavelength. If wave number will be less, definitely we will have the longest wavelength. I am assuming over here that transition starts from n equal to 2 that means orbit 2 to definitely it should be till orbit third right so if i am having shortest wave number that means this electron jumps from orbit 2 to orbit 3 definitely for this i'll have the longest wave length right so in that case we'll apply the formula that is 1 by lambda equal to r 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square right so in this case we will assume n1 that means from where electron starts its transition is second orbit and where it ends is third orbit you can write over here for balmer series n1 equal to 2 for longest wavelength nu bar should be minimum right so definitely wave number will be minimum if I'll uh, start transition from orbit 2 and ends on orbit 3, right? So, N2 will be 3. Our formula will be nu bar equal to R. That is Rydberg's constant 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square, right? R is Rydberg's constant. So you can put the value of R over here. That is 109677 centimeter inverse, right? So we'll put the values nu bar, that is wave number equal to R 109677 centimeter inverse 1 by N1. That means 2 square minus 1 by N2 square. That is 3 square, right? So, new bar equal to 109677 centimeter inverse 1 by 2 square that will be 4 minus 1 by 3 square that will be 9. Okay, so we'll take LCM over here. So, 4 into 9 that will be 36. New bar equal to 109677 centimeter inverse definitely LCM will be 36. 36 divided by 4, that will be 9. 9 into 1, 9. Minus 36 divided by 9, that will be 4. 4 into 1, 4. Right? So, 9 minus 4, that will be 5. So, new bar equal to 109677 centimeter inverse into 5 by 36. Right? So, 109677 into 5, that will be... 5,48,385 divided by 36 centimeter inverse. So, when you will divide 5,48,385 with 36, your answer will be new bar equal to 15,232.91 centimeter inverse. Let's convert this value according to the scientific notation, right? So what I'll do, I'll simply displace this decimal up to four digit from right to left. And I know that if I am displacing decimal from right to left, power will be positive, right? 
so nu bar equal to 1.52 now i just want to round off this value right up to 3 so here i am having 2 that is less than 5 right so i'll write 3 as it is into i am displacing decimal from right to left up to 4 digit so power will be positive and it will be 10 raised to power 4 centimeter inverse that means for this wave number that is 1.523 into 10 raised to power 4 centimeter inverse we will have the longest wavelength in the balmer series